When you're asked in a job interview, what are your strengths and weaknesses? Don't panic. There is a way to answer this question and there's a way to prepare for this so you don't get nervous when they ask you this. The interview process can be quite daunting. How much do you say? What do you not say? A new book offers all kinds of tips. It's called Interviewology, the new science of interviewing. Author Anna Papalia has experience as an HR professional, consultant for Fortune 500 companies, and business school teacher. She conducted years of research to see what truly works in an interview. And Anna joins us now. Anna, thanks for being with us. Good morning. Good morning, Larry and Robin. Nice to be here. I guess you automatically assume when someone's interviewing you that they, they know what they're doing. They're an HR person. But you say 90% of managers who are doing these interviews are not trained in how to do them, right? So what's your best bet when you go in and you, you don't know if the people know what they're doing? Well, I think the most important thing that anyone can do as a job seeker is to know themselves because you can't control the hiring manager. You can't control what questions that they're going to ask. So I always say an interview in the most basic sense is a set of questions about you. So the more you know yourself, the better you'll do. And I discovered interview styles, which I hope helps people better understand the impression that they make in job interviews. Yeah, so those four styles, I want to be liked, I want to be me, I want to get it right, and I want to adapt. Uh, are one of those wrong or are one of those more right than the others? You know, when I first set out to do this research, I assumed that I was going to find one style that was better than others. And I assumed it was going to be my style because I'm great at interviewing. <laughs> and I'm really glad that my hypothesis was dead wrong. I collected lots of research and I realized that all four interview styles, charmers, challengers, examiners, and harmonizers all have an equal shot at nailing the interview. Huh. Interesting. And, you know, I always find it interesting that there's some people that are really good at interviewing, but maybe that's because they haven't kept a job long enough and they've gotten a lot of experience interviewing. <laughs> how can you, how can you, I mean, as a person who's looking to hire someone, tell if someone just knows how to say all the right things? Well, I think that interview performance is something that we have to look beyond, right? Because you're right, you can be very good at the interview, but not necessarily great at the job. And it's our, our job as hiring managers to ask really great technical questions and treat an interview like a test rather than a conversation. And that helps you get away from being sucked into someone's interview performance. And so are there, you're, are there some questions you can ask some general questions, especially for some, some kid maybe who didn't do their homework or couldn't find out enough about the inner workings of a particular company? You mean as a hiring manager? What no, are some I'm talking about the interview. As an interviewee, shouldn't you be asking the interviewer some questions about the company to show that you have some understanding or interest in, in getting hired? Absolutely. You know, some people really worry about asking too many questions because they don't want to rock the boat. Those are harmonizers. Others, challengers in interviews, they really pride themselves on asking a bunch of tough questions. And I think like anything, it's a good balance, but you should absolutely show that you've done your research. You have to go on the company's website. You have to know how they make money. You have to re have read the job description, but don't spend all of your interview prep focused on the company because the company knows what it does. They don't know about you. So you do have to spend a lot of time preparing your answers to tell me about yourself. Why do you want to work here? What are your strengths and weaknesses? So it's a balance of both showing that you're interested by having done your research and also knowing yourself anything and, any I'm sorry anything no. you should lie about <laughs> I, I did a viral video on TikTok about five things you should lie about in an interview you know I think it's really important that you present yourself professionally you know there's some questions that hiring managers may ask like what do you do outside of work well first of all it's sort of an inappropriate question but whatever you do don't say that like all I do is watch Netflix you know you can uh -oh. come up <laughs> well, I guess there's a way to spin just pretty much everything, yeah. but uh, the book is Interviewology, the new science of interviewing. You can get more tips at theinterviewology.com and follow Anna on social media. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you.